Others would claim that using the IRS to harass political enemies was a Clinton White House specialty, one reminiscent of the strong arm of Richard Nixon. They're both very smart, very politically ruthless, very hardworking, great work habits. Uh, some of them not complimentary, very cynical, uh, willing to do things uh, that are beyond the pale of, of proper conduct. Proper conduct would not include using private investigators to intimidate. Those allegations come from several women involved with Bill Clinton, including Jennifer Flowers, Elizabeth Ward Grayson, Paula Jones, and Kathleen Willey. The scare tactics, you know, being followed, being audited by the IRS, their homes broken into. I mean, where does it end? Clinton supporter and campaign worker Kathleen Willey was a White House volunteer who alleges that President Clinton sexually assaulted her during a meeting in the private study off the Oval Office in November of 1993. I kept thinking to myself, what in the hell is he doing? I, I just, that's what I kept thinking. And, which sounds silly at the time, but I, I was, I was getting embarrassed for him. If that does, it's just, you know, this is just not proper. You have to remember, this was at the time when there was a lot of speculation about us womanizing, and I was the loyal Democrat, and I would not allow myself to believe that that was true. I just, I just thought it was all just rumor. Willie believes that Hillary Clinton was well aware of the tactics used by the Clinton White House to intimidate perceived enemies. Willie says two days before she was set to testify against President Clinton in the Paula Jones sexual harassment case, a stranger confronted her. We passed and he stopped and he said, hey Kathleen, did you ever find your cat? And then he said, rather ominously, um, yeah, that bullseye was a really nice cat. And that's what I thought, that something else was going on here. He stood back and he said, you're just not getting the message, are you? The Clinton attack machine immediately targeted Willie. However, there are corroborating witnesses. Jared Stern, a former Marine, later told congressional investigators he was hired to investigate Kathleen Willey during a clandestine nighttime meeting. It was late at night. He called me, asked me to meet him here in this parking garage. I met him, said he had something very important to discuss. I talked to him about it, I discussed the tasking, and then I left to carry it out. Stern declines to discuss what he was hired to do. But Stern has admitted he was so uneasy about it that he called Willie, using an alias. I made a telephone call to Miss Willie. I left a message on her answering service indicating that I'd try again the next day. And he left a message for me saying, be careful that there were people out to get me. Jared Stern is a first-hand witness to what the, the Clintons are doing, have done, and are doing to these women. The Clintons are a unit. They share a zeal for power and a willingness to engage in any and all threat neutralizing strategies. Legality be damned. No one will ever say what happened to Kathleen Willey was an anomaly. That MO can be seen throughout the Clintons' political lives. It is consistent. Willey says her car was vandalized, her house broken into, and a cat's skull was left on her porch. Today, she still lives in fear. And I don't understand how any woman in this country could vote for a woman who does that to other people, who sets out to destroy and ruin the, these women who have crossed paths with Bill Clinton. They're power hungry. They stop at nothing. They stop at nothing. If you put me to work for you, I'll work to lift people up not push them down. I finally parted company with Hillary Clinton when I saw how she was using private detectives to investigate the women who were linked to her husband. Not to change him, not to reform him, not to make him a better person, but to cow the women into silence so that he could get elected president. I do not want that woman controlling the IRS or the DEA or the NSA or the FBI, or the CIA, not in a democracy.